hello friends in this lecture we shall discuss right of redemption and right of foreclosure friends whenever loan is given by a bank against the security of some immovable property like in case of home loan then the borrower creates mortgage on the immovable property that is the home in our example the concept of right of redemption and right of foreclosure comes into picture in case of mortgages let us now see what are the features of these rights and how they are different from each other so on one side we shall take right of redemption or on other side we shall take right of foreclosure first what are the features of right of redemption under section 60 transfer of property act this right is the right of mortgager of the property the owner of the property who mortgages the property in favor of the bank is called mortgager and this right right of redemption is a right belonging to the mortgager of the property that is the borrower friends whenever the borrower makes repayment of the loan which is called mortgaged money then he has a right to take back the mortgage property on repayment of loan he can take back the property from the bank means this is a right which will cancel the mortgage this right is inalienable and cannot be taken away by way of a contract so this right can not be taken away from the mortgage mortgager even by way of some contract so what is right of redemption it is right of the borrower right of the mortgager to take back the property from the bank from the creditor from the mortgagee once the mortgager makes repayment of the loan and this right cannot be snatched away taken away this right is provided so that the mortgagee does not extinguish the right of mortgager since mortgage is not a transfer of property hence the mortgager has the right to take back the property and this right is provided to the mortgager so that in any case the mortgagee does not extinguish extinguish this right of the mortgager the limitation period in case of right of redemption is a 30 years from date of mortgage money is paid so once the mortgage money is paid within next 30 years the mortgager can use this right to take back the property from the mortgagee it can be used before foreclosure now when this right can be used this right can be used after payment of the loan within 30 years but before that the mortgagee should not have taken the right of foreclosure so these are the conditions now let us see what is right of foreclosure under section 67 transfer of property act this right is the right of the mortgagee in our example the bank and this right is available when the mortgage money is due but not paid by the mortgager by the borrower so this right is available to the mortgager when loan is repaid back and this right is available to the mortgagee when the mortgager does not pay the loan on due date when loan is due but mortgager is not paying that loan 
In such cases, Modgiji can obtain a court order, a court decree. And this decree will debar the mortgager of his right of redemption. So once this decree is obtained by the mortgagee from a court, a bar will be put on the mortgager for using his right of redemption. It is available under mortgage by conditional sale. There are six types of mortgages. Out of those mortgages, this right is available only under mortgage by conditional sale. Once this right is used by the mortgagee, it extinguish, extinguishes the right of redemption of the mortgager. So once this right is used, this right will automatically be extinguished. And once this right is used by mortgagee, then this right will be extinguished automatically. Here also the limitation period is 30 years from the date the right becomes available. So once this money becomes due and not paid by the mortgager, this right can be used within 30 years by the mortgagee. Friends, this right protects the mortgagee and he can recover the loan by foreclosure that is by sale. But he has to do this through court. So these two rights are part of the mortgages. This is the right of mortgager that is the borrower. This is right of the bank that is mortgagee. If this right is used, this gets extinguished automatically. If this right is used, then this right gets extinguished automatically. Well friends, I am sure you will be benefited by the contents of this lecture. Thank you for watching the video.